Hello everyone, Segmelator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Who are you? Pleasure to meet you, Pathfinder. Priya Blake, Captain of Outpost Terra Vuni. I'm glad you're here. I thought we'd have to deal with this on our own. What's the problem? Is it the cat? No. At least I don't think so. A few of my drill technicians went missing on a research expedition west of here. We've tried their comms, but get nothing but static. Do you know where they were headed? I know the route, but we lost their tracking signal halfway through. I don't know how far they got. We tried to look at their research notes, but the data is corrupted. We have zero leads. I was supposed to keep these people safe. I've already failed them. Don't lose hope. I'll find your people. Coming from you, I believe it. Their research log is in the lab. Maybe your AI can piece together the corrupted data and get a nav point. We're staking a claim, but what does the initiative want with Vold? Look at the landscape. What do you see? Ice? A lot of ice. Water. Vold is a massive, endless source of it. We're proud to serve as the initiative's first ice runners. We mine the ice here and haul it to colonies where water is scarce. Like Eos. Even the Nexus. The more people we wake from cryo, the more resources we'll need. Good Our point. ice runners make sure water is never a problem. You picked a mouthful of a name for the outpost. It's Shalesh, and Garan language means forward together. It represents the close relationship we have with the Angara here on Bold. Glad to hear you're working together. This is their world. Because of you, they trusted us enough to give us a place in it. Now it's my job to cement that bond. We'll do our best to earn what they've given us. I have to say, I'm surprised the Angara let us put an outpost here. A portion of the ice we mine goes to their blockade runners, who take it to resistance bases all over the cluster. Water for their soldiers. It feels good to do our part against the Ket, however small. Were you in the Alliance too? I was an Alliance officer for a decade before I got sick of being a pawn in the Council's power plays. Heard about the initiative and figured it'd be a fresh start. A chance to make a real difference. I'm ex-Alliance too. You ever miss it? Given the chance, I'd make this choice all over again. But when I see the Resistance push against the Ket, it makes me wonder if my days behind a gun aren't really over. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. Alright. Even more side quests. Right, we've got Research Center. Oh, a frigate model. Yes, I will take that. Thank you. How far did the drill techs have to dig? Already 30 meters deep. No temperature change. This damn ice ball. Pathfinder, welcome to Scenic Vold. Hope you're enjoying the view. To the east, ice. To the west, more ice. <laughs> At least you're not in cryo anymore, right? Look around. This is cryo. But I'll endure this frozen hell if it means completing my research. You know, it was even worse here before I activated the vault. So I heard. Glad I wasn't around for that. Makes me wonder what this place will look like in ten years, once the vault's had time to really work. Think it'll be up to your standards? My standards involve a beach and a healthy amount of sun, but we'll see. Do you mind? We're having a conversation here. What are you researching? I'm studying ways we can harness geothermal activity as a source of energy. Believe it or not, below Vold's surface is a maze of heated geothermal vents. Keeps the planet from becoming completely inhospitable, but just barely. And you can use it as a power source. That's the hope. I hear the Angara are doing something similar, but they won't let me get close. So I'm determined to find the solution on my own. I'm good for now. Don't freeze to death out there. I'm good. Oh yeah. Still full. Right. Go back this way. Three hours, 42 minutes. Cute. <laughs> to 
Don't tell me. Three hours, 18 minutes. Damn. So I get to meet the Pathfinder responsible for making this place happen. I'm Lizanna Telesso. Because of you, I have the best job in the galaxy. Which is? I'm an ice runner. I get to dodge the scourge and outrun the cat to bring water to the colonies. Doesn't get more exciting than that. Facing danger to make everyone's life better. No wonder you love it. When you put it that way. Your job isn't too different. How did you get into this job? I was a pilot for the Citadel fleet. Until I got bored and wanted something new. The initiative sounded right up my alley. I was one of the first to sign up. But how'd you end up at this outpost? I asked. Marched into Priya's office and told her I was the best pilot she'd get. <laughs> Said I didn't care if the outpost was mostly ex-alliance. I wanted in. I've been giving her trouble ever since. So you mine the ice as a water source. Smart. I fly ice blocks to the Nexus. Eos. Even made a run to Havarl for the Angara. Speaking of which, it sounded like there was trouble brewing when I landed. The Angara were on edge. Maybe you should check it out. Yep, need to go back to Haval at some point. Discouraged before. It's not easy. That's half the fun. I get to change my roots to avoid it, like I'm outsmarting it. I've had a few close calls where it shorted my nav system. Once, I flew blind all the way to the Nexus. There's no way you pulled that off. There's a reason I was the Citadel's best pilot. Take it easy. No fun in that. All right. How you doing? All right. Uh, well, I've got things to do here still. Reading a temperature decrease. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. This crate contains a prototype for a handheld ice drill. So they're developing a portable drilling method. Smart. Uh, and then are possible and sample sites to radius. We'll do a site and take enough samples for the for her to test. Setting device with nav point. Sam, you get anything from this mess? Analyzing. It seems most of their data comes from a single nav point. Updating now. Let's rescue a few very frozen techs. Good idea. Uh, where are they? Over there. Alien. They look stranger with humans on them. <laughs> Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Pathfinder, you I detect heavy weapons fire nearby. Mining interface. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. This is where the data sent us. Keep an eye out for Priya's people. Here? Renewing the sample site, uh, seismic activity seems unusual, but we have a lot to learn about this planet. Entering the valley doesn't seem normal. Bryn, you're sure this is safe? We've passed several uh, Irox, but they're all running away from the valley. I don't like this mess. Let's turn back. 
Shaking's getting worse. This activity is off the charts. We're coming up to the what the hell is that? It's Mexican turn around go. Oliver's hit, it's shooting right through the hole. Go faster. I don't care. Oh god, Oliver's not going to make it. Keep driving. We have to get back to the and they're dead. Pathfinder, a nav point is attached to this log. I've updated your location device. Should I inform Priya we found her people? No. Not till we take down whatever did this. I think I might know what did it. An architect, maybe. Yep, yeah, there it is. The architect, all right. I wonder if the Angara would let us train with them. I'd like to see their methods. They do that. like not to do that I need to be inside to stay warm right this is going to be a bitch What's happened? Wait, hold on. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I've restarted the uh, the PS Five a couple of times, and I've tried I've tried loading previous saves, but for some reason, Mass Effect Andromeda just now won't load, which is very annoying. So, for now, <laughs> this is going to be the last episode for Andromeda until I can figure out what's going on with this. I can only apologise. I was really enjoying this playthrough. Like I said before, I like Andromeda, despite all of the issues. They're still play Oh no, there might be life. I don't know. Nope. Fair enough. Uh, despite all the issues behind the scenes and some of the issues still in game, I like the story and I like the characters and I like PB. Uh, she's my favourite character to romance in this game. So for now, but for now, this is going to be the end of Andromeda. I'm going to see if I can get Resident Evil Four VR to 
stream onto the PC so I can record it. I've been trying all day today as well in between recording episodes to get that to work and nothing's worked so far, but maybe we can start off, start a new series with that. But for now, I'm going to end this here because I have no choice. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, you probably didn't because it's only 15 minutes long and not a lot happens, but like, subscribe, ding that bell. Oh, wait. It's an architect. Oh my god, life! Right, let's see if we can... One leg down. We've got to go after it. Where is it? Right, it's there. Okay. Andromeda continues to live for now. Of course it is. Going back this way. It is. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Forget the armor, target the legs. 
There we go. There we go. Got it, Sam. Creating reinforcements. Of course it is. This can't be a surprise to you, Jarl. We've been fighting them for a bit now. Yeah, we should. God damn. Right. What I'm going to do quickly is, uh, yeah, I'm going. Oh, it won't let me save. God damn it. Right now, it's going to let me save. I'm going to save it quickly. I don't want to lose that progress. Right. Yeah, Sam. Temperatures are within acceptable limits. Yeah, I know. God, yeah, I don't know what happened earlier. But I'm glad we can continue with uh, Andromeda. Missing science crew, speak to Priya. Yeah, it was really weird. It crashed while it was reloading after I died, and then it just refused to load for some reason. But it's all good now. Send someone to the resistance camp. We'll give them our extra supplies. Pathfinder, my scouts told me about your run-in with the architect. I lost good people to that thing. Drill technicians who went there on an expedition. It's not easy losing people under your command. It's my fault. I shouldn't have let them search that far out. I failed them. At least I know the rest of my people are safe, thanks to you. I tracked down your missing drill techs. They didn't make it. I'll send a team out to recover the bodies. They deserve a proper burial. And Pathfinder, thank you. You're welcome. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. Alright. That's that one done. Uh, are you the last thing to do on Vold? There's a question mark there. So we'll check that out as well. Alright, let's go... Let's go put this receiver up. How many AI like Sam are there? Back where you are from. Not many. Most people are afraid of AI. Pardon? I don't think anyone said anything, Cora. Maybe not. But when AI do go rogue, they're a real threat. Oh, 
Really? Bloody things. There we go. Another news receiver down. Right. Let's go see what this is quickly, and then I think when. We're done on vault. Okay, there we go. It's just one of these places to investigate. Wait, hold on. Oh no, it's just you are seeing on the other side. Okay, cool. No more question marks anywhere. No more missions. Back to the Tempest. I well, we should probably head back to Haval then, if there's trouble brewing. I have worked too hard to build these alliances and get these worlds back in working order. Drac said he wants to talk to you. Uh. Orbit is steady. Tracking a remnant architect. Right, so I've still got Know Your Enemy to do on there. Alright. Uh, Haval is back here. Let's go see what's going on there. Roca Manifestos, Unearthed Cross-Cultural Alliances. Alright, thank you Cora, you've been grand. I want my PB back. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. Oh, this place is looking all right. Let's fast travel over there, just for sake of ease.
Hello. I've compared what? my cuttings to Kieran Dahl. The reports didn't do this world justice. It's ethereal. Director Addison, I imagine you have concerns that we haven't placed a full outpost? Frankly, it's impressive you weren't covered in vines on landing. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Ayan. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. After the Cat and what they've seen of the Exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. Havaral helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. It's promising, and a lot of people have noticed. I still need your voice. Something they can think about instead of an outpost flag. We're still here, still doing important work. Then tell them that. This is Havaral. I didn't find an outpost. I found Angara, and saw a piece of who they are. We're welcome to help here. It's not ours. It's all of ours. I think that makes the whole cluster closer to home. Into the books, Pathfinder. At a snout. Alright. Hawkins McIntyre. Hello. Ah, you'll be the Pathfinder then. Dr. McIntyre, from the Nexus. Ryder. Welcome to Havaral. She'll be more welcoming now that you put the vault back on track. The Angara invited us to monitor plant growth and study ruins out in the jungle. It's the chance of a lifetime. Be careful around those monoliths. There might be more stasis fields. We think they only affect Angara, but who knows? Oh, we know. Make no mistake. I have a check-in system ready. Whether young Farley remembers it when he's chasing butterflies is another matter. What does your team do here? Zera is our botanist. She'll be minding the plants and designing an artificial habitat for them. She also happens to be an engineer. Asari, one profession's never enough. Then there's young Farley. He's here for the insects. And you? I'm the xenoanthropologist. A fancy word for talking to the Angara about those runes, and listening. I imagine you've spoken to Kieran Dahls already? She's the one who invited us, aye. Fussed over us, something terrible. But she's a fine lady, and hopefully a good colleague down the road. I plan to listen to her. Good stuff. You know how Tavos found the monolith, right? Reincarnated memories? Aye, I heard. One for the textbooks. Do you believe him? Because you're a scientist. Asari share thoughts and memories. Prothean tech speaks in visions. Those are scientific facts. There's more to people than what can go under a microscope, lad. True enough. Good luck, McIntyre. Safe journeys, Ryder. Ah, good stuff. Right. Now let's go see what trouble has been a brewing here. Pathfinder Ryder, Dr. Tsana Rilar, xenobotanist for the initiative, and my colleague, Dr. Eric Baumgarten. Xenogenetics. Pleasure to meet you. No offense, but you probably shouldn't be out here alone. I'm not alone. I'm with her. She's quite fierce. Your report of accelerated evolution and rapid growth of nature here caught our interest. We're analyzing everything we can for clues to replicate the effects on our own crops. It would have interesting applications, if there's a way to control the process. Uh -huh. You understand the end goal. If we learn to enhance the growth of plants and animals in non-destructive ways, we could end hunger. It would change everything for the initiative. Our colonies could thrive virtually overnight. Since you repaired the vault, things are returning to normal, but too quickly for us. The accelerated life forms you want to study are dying off, decaying. We're scrambling to scan and catalog everything before it's gone. We could use some help. Point me at the life forms you need. I'll do the rest. 
Anything mutated beyond its baseline growth cycle will aid our work. I'll provide the most promising genetic markers to scan for. Thank you for whatever help you can provide, Pathfinder. Rendezvous here when you're finished. All right. One over here. Kieran says the ball would have lasted another cycle. Oh, I've already, already done it. Do it most. Were the projections so dire? I could believe it. It came so close to losing everything. All oh, right, no. I now need to go and scan them. Yeah, but I'm not interested in them. Affected this area. I recommend scanning for accelerated current. Area display accelerated growth markers. Right, that's right, so them scanned. Let's do this. Really. these next ones closer to here right let's just do this out of the mutated wildlife nearby You're done. No need to go over here. I'm not in combat. Can you not? Can I please just do what I came here to do, please? I'm not in combat anymore. It's fine. You can let me go. Oh, 
Fuck's sake. Don't go and start another fight, you two. Am I even going the right way? No, I'm not. in combat for God's sake can you two stop fighting everything in sight Is over here, so let's just get this scan that we can get the hell out of here. Right, was that was that all I had to scan here? All right, good. But apparently, there's something around here to scan. Mineral cash. All right, cool. I'll take it. Go. 
Jar'Hara carried more than weapons. They had research tech, data pads. Let's find out why. Alright. Uh, close to confirming Varan's theory, we found correlating mutations in both animal and plant life indicating a singular me mechanism tailored to variant cellular and genetic structures. Estimate an 82% chance that mutant strains ravaging Haval can be re replicated elsewhere, allowing us to introduce this toxic process to other planetary bi uh, biomes. If Varan is correct, we may even improve on the process, generating more destructive effects on reduced timelines. We could render any world poisonous to outsiders and drive them away for good. No more care, no more initiative. Only our worlds and our people as it should be. Racist! The Rokar were studying mutant wildlife too. They want to use it against us. The data pad mentions a camp. Updating known data. Mission parameters changing. Let's get the Rokar camp. Where is that camp? Over there. Right. As we're here. Stop fighting the wildlife. We 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 don't we're done with that. Good, they're fighting those creatures. Try my best. You're the last one. There we go. Here we go. Sam, what do you get from this? Analyzing. The Rokar took special interest in mutations that would poison a natural environment. What are your instructions for this data, Pathfinder? Download a copy, then erase the Rokar computer. Acknowledged. Copy incomplete. Erasure of Rokar files complete. Let's wrap things up and get back to our researchers. Uh, I've asked up this. You think you're doing the right thing, but you've turned your back on your people, on your family. Your sisters have to face their resistance superiors and explain why their only brother has defected. 
Do you think that's easy for them? I know you be you believe fighting for your home just like they are, but this isn't the way to do it. The Rokar have dangerous ideas. Ephra says you'll be welcome back, so please come home for all of us. I mean, that is a lot there. Right, okay, that is now all done, so yes, I can now return here. Oh, that was actually part of the mission. Okay, that's fine, I can work with that. What have you brought us, Pathfinder? I got jumped by Rokar. They were researching harmful mutations, hoping to use them against us. I hope you put an end to their work. Do you have any of their data? May we see it? I copied the files before I erased the Rokar computer. I'll transmit everything. If nothing else, it may help us defend against future attacks. I scanned all the mutated wildlife I could find. I hope it helps your research. We're going to be overwhelmingly busy, aren't we? Thank you for everything, Pathfinder. We'll get to work. Good stuff. All right. Is there anything else to do here? Doesn't look like it. No, can't uh, do an extraction. That only works in the Nomad. Alright, let's quickly talk to Drac. See what he wants. I imagine it's got something to do with uh, Spencer's situation. Thank you, Suvi. Lexi wanted to speak to you. All right, so we've got Drek and Lexi. Okay. Who is where? Ibi's there, Vetra. Gil. Joel, Liam, Sam. Drek's in the kitchen, and Lexi's there. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. I'm sure I do. Thank you, Sam. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. We'll figure him out. Pride will get us all killed. This ain't the time for it, kid. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you, and everyone else on board. Huh, true enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. Damn right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Damn right. All right, Lexi, what do you want? I 
Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. I didn't think about it like that. Because you see him as a friend, not a patient. That's why I'm here. To observe and treat. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. <laughs> Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course, but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here now that I actually can. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.